Welcome, welcome back to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. My name is Jim. Today we're going to talk about a subject that we get a lot of inquiries about, and that is inhalable insulin. Hmm. Great concept, been around for a while, still being tested. However, there is one brand that has been FDA approved. It's called a Frezza. And uh, we're going to give you an update on where they are with the technology and uh, then we'll talk about it afterwards what you think of this idea of avoiding shots on a daily basis by taking it in through the lungs if you would like to help our uh, channel grow feel free to go to our homepage, click on the buy us a coffee uh, emblem and then uh, go ahead and buy us a coffee we appreciate any support also if you had to hit the like and subscribe buttons that helps us to get this out to more people around the globe now let's talk about a Frezza and inhaled insulin inhaled insulin success for type 1 diabetics as of May 2025 inhaled insulin particularly a Frezza technosphere insulin or TI is gaining renewed attention as a viable alternative for adults with type 1 diabetes Recent clinical trials and ongoing research have highlighted its efficacy and potential benefits. Latest clinical findings. A pivotal study published in Diabetes Care demonstrated that a regimen combining inhaled TI with basal insulin deglutec was non-inferior to standard insulin therapies, including automated insulin delivery, AID systems, and multiple daily injections, over 17 weeks. The primary outcome, HbA1c levels, showed no significant difference between the groups indicating comparable glycemic control. Notably, 21% of participants using TI experienced an HbA1c improvement of at least 0.5%, compared to 5% in the usual care group. However, the TI group exhibited a wider variation in HbA1c outcomes, with 26% experiencing a deterioration of more than 0.5%, compared to 3% in the usual care group. Additionally, the TI group reported more nighttime hyperglycemia events and less time spent in the target glucose range during the night. Adverse events potentially related to TI occurred in 37% of participants, including cough, shortness of breath, wheezing, and bronchospasm, leading to discontinuation in eight patients. Afreza is the only FDA-approved ultra-rapid-acting inhaled insulin available for adults with type 1 or type 2 diabetes. It begins lowering blood glucose approximately 12 minutes after inhalation and has a shorter duration of action compared to traditional mealtime insulins, potentially reducing the risk of late postprandial hypoglycemia. Ongoing research and future directions. Mankind Corporation, the manufacturer of Afreza, is actively pursuing expanded indications. The company presented positive outcomes from the Inhale One Pediatric Study at the 18th International Conference on Advanced Technologies and Treatments for Diabetes ATTD, in March 2025 and anticipates filing a supplemental new drug application for pediatric use later this year. How does it work in the body? Inhaled insulin like a Frezza works by delivering insulin into the lungs where it is rapidly absorbed into the bloodstream. Here's how it functions in the body, step by step. 1. Inhalation and Lung Absorption Afreza is a dry powder insulin inhaled through a small, handheld device. Upon inhalation, the powder travels deep into the alveoli, tiny air sacs, in the lungs. The insulin is carried on technosphere particles, which are designed to be highly soluble in the lung environment. These particles dissolve quickly in the lung's fluid lining and allow insulin to pass rapidly into the bloodstream. 2. Rapid Systemic Action After absorption, insulin enters the pulmonary capillaries and is distributed through the circulatory system. This process is much faster than subcutaneous under-the-skin injections where insulin must diffuse through tissue before entering the bloodstream. Afreza starts working in 12 minutes, peaks around 35 to 45 minutes, and its effect wears off in about 1.5 to 3 hours. 3. Blood Glucose Regulation Like all insulin, Afreza binds to insulin receptors on cells, mainly muscle and fat cells, triggering glucose uptake from the bloodstream. Limitations not suitable for patients with asthma, COPD, or smokers. Requires regular lung function tests to monitor for any adverse pulmonary effects. It's mealtime insulin only. A long-acting basal insulin is still required to manage background glucose levels in type 1 diabetes. Conclusion. Inhaled insulin, particularly a Frezza, 
represents a promising alternative to traditional insulin delivery methods for adults with type 1 diabetes, offering rapid action and needle-free administration. However, considerations regarding patient selection, potential adverse effects, and individual glycemic response variability are essential. Ongoing research and anticipated regulatory developments may further define its role in diabetes management. So Jim, what's your opinion on the product? This is the way I see it. I think that this is very interesting technology. The whole concept of being able to inhale insulin is pretty intriguing for some people. I read all of your comments. I understand some of you have only been diabetics for maybe five years, and this weighs very heavily on you because I've been through all of that. I've been a diabetic for 41 years, and I have managed uh, just by taking insulin. Have I had setbacks along the way? Absolutely. It hasn't been smooth sailing, but I'm used to that. And for me personally, uh, I'm not interested in this particular product um, because I've been able to get as far as I have with what I'm doing. And like you, I'm waiting for a cure. If this is of interest to you, most definitely you'd need to do your research. It is FDA approved in this country. I don't know about Europe. I don't know about the Middle East, South America, Africa. I have no idea whether it's even on the market there, but I would definitely do my research and uh, again, for me personally, I'm not interested in putting anything, any foreign substance in my lungs. The only thing in my lungs is fresh air, and that's the way I personally intend to keep it. So as always, we don't give medical advice here. Talk to your doctor and see what you think. If you think this might be helpful to you, because you still have to take the basal insulin, um, you know, it's up to you. Talk to your doctor. That All I can say about this is always do your research. All right. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We have uh, been alerted by some of you and we were aware uh, some 30 of our videos were deleted by accident. We are working diligently to get them reloaded. So if you have not seen some of them, we will try and get everything um, in the new year. And it was about 30. Um, videos reloaded for you. If you have seen them, don't worry. We're constantly working on new videos every week like this one today. So thanks for your patience and thanks for hanging out with us here on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Have a great day and we'll talk again soon.